Hello, and welcome to another Path of Exile video. So with this this uh, new series is going to be is a crafting series. So we're going to be like a uh, hardcore solo self out, like uh, just as if the league started. And uh, this time it's going to be a lot different than the other videos. If, if you've been watching the other videos, you've just been watching us collect all this uh, garbage all the time inside our uh, stash tabs here. Most of it we don't even need. Cause like uh in, in all the uh, videos and everything like a uh, zizra they never tell you why to not pick these up why i didn't ever pick these up but we found out something that i never knew after playing this entire time like this uh item level one gloves here right y you think that it might just be a limited to three sockets at most like all these uh gloves and armors and everything you might just think if you're going around searching Try to find a bunch of three socket linked items. Th those aren't actually the best ones because we we just found out that there's a way to actually craft a uh, four sockets on a item level one item. So it can be like these gloves here, right? These gloves they can have four sockets. These boots they can have four sockets. These this uh, chest place they can have four sockets. Even though you can just uh, only find them with three sockets. So, uh, uh, that's going to be the basis of uh, this series here, right? So what we're going to be doing is working our way up to Act 4 because Act 4 is where is where you're going to be unlocking that uh, socket recipe. So you're probably not going to be collecting uh, as much loot as we go through. We're probably just going to be collecting like uh, one of each base armor, then like uh, one of each base shield, then maybe one of each base weapon, maybe the two-headed weapons, the bows and arrows and everything along the way. Then the uh, magic items, we're going to be selling like uh, every single one of them. Probably going to be selling every every single magic app that we have because we, we can just actually craft our own, which is going to be what this series is going to be based around, right? It's just going to be crafting in Hardcore Solo Self Found in a new league without wasting a whole bunch of time. So the first thing is any rare that we find, we're going to be IDing it because just by IDing it, we're, we're going to be eventually sell it like uh every single rare here oh we id it uh before we tried to sell it but essentially if you id it and then sell it should give you a lot more crafting materials which uh we're, we're, we're gonna be using we're gonna be selling like uh every single rare that we have here so this is just the loot for uh, the first area so what we're gonna be doing is going through each area just like uh clearing each area where we're not going to be farming anything. Where we're not going to be farming the earlier years. We, we actually might be. But we won't be farming them for the same reasons. The only reason we're going to be farming this time is just to collect uh, one perfect defense base. And that's it. All the other things, they're not, they're not going to really uh, matter too much. As we find out here later, right? Once we get to Act 4 and then unlock the uh, craft recipe and everything. That most of these things we'll just uh, throw these in here and then for the character we're choosing a scion uh, so it's gonna be like a hardcore solo self found guide and to unlock the scion you have to unlock a uh, solo self found i think you just have to go complete act three or something if it's your first account just go beat act three then you unlock solo self found mode and you also unlock the scion here so we're gonna be doing is we've been uh, thinking about this skill tree here too, because maybe I I I, I understand why everybody says that the uh, duelist is the best skill tree, the the duelist is like the uh, number one class, because because you come here you get six percent increased attack speed here right, then you come here, and then you get ten percent increased attack speed, ignore all movement penalties from armor, and then you come here and then you get your plus 200 to evasion rating plus you get damage with bows and everything and then you get more movement speed here and then you come up here and then you get another 100 evasion and then you get 10 percent movement speed up here and then you come over here and then you get like uh more movement speed here and then all your attack speed and everything come here get more movement speed so with this uh character we're going to be going for like a hundred percent movement speed so we're, we're, so we're pretty much going to be going on the uh, skill tree here, right? If you look at a uh, movement, 
We're going to be getting every single, every single uh, node of the sculpture that has movement speed. And then we're going to be making a character that can move as fast as they possibly can. So this is going to be like our first uh, farming character. So we're going to be going here. Like, like uh, there, there is movement speed nodes here. And there is like uh, attack speed nodes here. But maybe we can get these later. The uh, main thing is we're coming here to get this uh, strength because it'll make it easier to equip uh, heavier armors later. But the main thing is the resistance is down here, right? We have 18% uh, to all resistance and another 10 down here. So that'd be 28% to all resistances plus 24% increased uh, evasion rating and armor. And then we just come over here, then we just get a 10% movement speed, and then we get evasion rating, and then we come down here, and then we get the evasion rating down here. So this build could work for any of these characters. You could be like a ranger, or you could be a duelist, or you could be a scion. Uh, pretty much uh, pretty much the same, I guess. I guess the uh, duelist will get more attack speed, or you can just come here and skip all those things. Or the ranger would get more attack speed too, or you can just skip all those things and come down here. So you see why everybody goes over here and just takes these uh, side nodes. Because these, these things, maybe they're not too valuable. Because you got to be here, you get farther into the skill tree, you get, uh, get all the uh, top nodes earlier or something. Uh, but since we're, we're, we're going to be making a side out here, so we'll apply the skill point, then we we'll come down here. And then the uh, first thing we're going to do is go through Act 1 here. Then as we're going through, we're probably just going to be trying to uh, collect like uh, bases along the way. Once we complete Act 1, we might go back while we're still getting currency. Because there's going to be a currency reduction. If you're running this at like level 40, you're going to be seeing no currency at all. Uh, so we're just going to go through with, like our skill gem here. We're going to come here. And then we're going to be picking the Hillock Reward, right? The Molten Strike. This works pretty good. This is a pretty good uh, melee, melee combination. Spectral throw, prismatic burst, and then bolted strike. And you, you don't even need to uh, get anything else here. Everything fits in your weapons. Yes. They go here. And uh, we, we could buy like the uh, bow skills, which you will be doing here pretty soon. Because we'll need the split arrow and the burning arrow. And then like uh, momentum support, which we'll lock here pretty soon. And then we become a uh, ranger, so we're going to be searching for a bow. We can probably even go with, like, the, uh, Ray zombie skill job to get another uh, zombie here, right? So we get this. This is going to give us some uh, minions to summon. So the good thing about this uh, too, she gets, uh, access to, like, uh, almost all of the skill jobs. So that's another reason, right? The, uh, the other characters you're limited to pretty much their color combination. But the Scion, she gets like uh, almost all of them. The, there is still some that she's missing. Like she's mi mi missing some of the uh, me melee skills. And she's missing some of the uh, Templar skills and everything. But she does get most of them. So now we got our character set up here. What we're going to do is that's pretty much all we need. We probably find everything else here. We go out here. Clear the coast. And then uh, maybe we'll come back. After we complete that, like, uh, first, uh, quest here that unlocks some, uh, new skill jabs. Uh, so pretty much just gonna go through. It's not gonna be too much combat in this series. It's mostly just gonna be in the, uh, town. Because we, we've gone through here so much times, right? You're just gonna be going through. You kill everything if you want. Like, we, we, we cleared the first area. Because maybe, maybe it does make sense, right? This is your first character. Oh, we got a max defense, uh, go ahead, buck there. Uh, 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 that's gonna be good to craft with. Except that it's not a level 3. If that doesn't matter too much. But you see Molten Strike. It, it's absolutely amazing. They come here. Summon our minions. They get a Molten Strike. Press back throw. And then our minions down here. Oh, there they are. Some more guys down here, right? So don't worry, don't worry about like uh, running through everything. It does make sense to go here and just kill things along the way. But, but I think you will well, just keep going, right? We're, we're not going to kill uh, every single enemy. We're not going to loot, like, uh, every single thing. But we will try to get a lot of things. Like, most of this stuff, you don't even need to pick it up. You can just, like, uh, drop most of it here. So we're going here. We're not even going to deal with the uh, boss or anything. 
We're just gonna go through and pick this. We probably don't even need, don't even need to go back to our town or anything. Oh, she's not glitching for climbing. That's what we're searching for. The first thing we're searching for, we always seem to find it so quick for some reason. So you might not find the uh, the three sock like the weapon or herber as, as quick as we do, but a, a, every single time that we break through, we always find like a red, red, it's usually right out the gate of the first enemies that we kill here. And then we level up here, and we're just going through it's like uh, so quick, right? We're already at the uh, waypoint. Level up our zombies here. Here's the lead mechanic. It's gonna change. We'll we get our fire resistance. Get her fire resistance. Go down here. We we'll probably just keep these on here, right? We we don't need to go to bank or anything. So this is gonna be like a speed speed run through first areas or something. We come through here. I guess we don't need to kill every single enemy. We we, we can just come back after we beat the act here. But then after we do this one, you have to watch out for the for these uh, magic guys though. This is where your prismatic burst comes in. You attack them from a rage. You can kind of kite them with this ability. If there's like a dangerous enemy, you can really use. And then you go with multi strike if it seems safer. We got the scale vest. We'll go around these things, we don't need them. Like, so the thing we need is just like a uh, th three socket link, like a uh, weapon upgrade. We can use a uh, pr prismatic uh, burst here, prismatic throw. So he, he's pretty easy if you know how he works. We can even come in like a um, multi strike, maybe. He can even try to freeze you or something. And then we uh, do need to be level 4 for, for the uh, quest mark here. So, probably just gonna go through and say, well, I, I, actually, we should know. No, let's, uh, let's keep going. Through. Let's try to get up to level 4 here so we can use the uh, quest awards. Here's the lead mechanic. He's gonna come. Let's try to get level 4 before we go through here. Just maybe we'll do like the uh, f first uh, three areas or something. Yeah. Here's the carp we, we easily just go around and hit these things. There might be something extra in it. We completed the quest and everything. This would probably be an upgrade. Yeah, scale of S. As soon as you get the scale of S, you just uh, uh, upgrade to that thing. That's like the best this lot there. Then I guess if we don't need this, we did pick up our three socket linked weapon here. So we'll take our spectral throw. Prismatic Burst, both of Strike, put him in any of our uh, three socket weapons here. And if you get a uh, Goat Head Buckler, this will be like, the best shield we can get, so we'll get that. God, we're pretty much ready to go here, right? Yeah, we're just about leveled up. We have to put our ability here. And then uh, maybe, maybe we'll try to re resummon our minions here. And then have our minions back up. Oh, there's another Leapy kind of character. So just click that, that, that's just like a free rare essentially. So we leveled up. So so probably probably just uh, leave, leave the town here. Or, or if you want, you can probably go through. There, there's probably more, more good things you pick up. Some uh, enemies there. Think, three three sock legs. Oh, there, there's the bow we need, right? Because we're, we're searching for a bow. If we're searching for a bow, we, we, we just uh, found one. Also found like a uh, magic boots, I think. Oh, and a chain bell. So it's always worth coming through here because you get some uh, extra items here. Then we click this uh, bow with our prismatic burst ability. And then we become a uh, ranger here. Oh, we, we don't need to have our abilities yet. Uh, so we'll, we'll just keep going with this until we uh, go back to town. So we found the bow. And it's actually the uh, sockets we're searching for. We're, we're searching for like a green, blue. Green, blue, so you can use prismatic burst. Then if we take all these things back home, like we, we can even go to character selection and then just uh, go back home that way, but we actually walk up here. But after we complete this quest, we get our uh, quicksilver flask. And then we get a uh, skill jab. Then we gain access to like uh, all the other skill gems here. But the one we're going to be purchasing is uh, Pierce Support. This will give our split arrow uh, Pierce. Then we just come here. 
There were just searching scale jabs. Then we search for bow scales. Then we search for split arrow. Then we need to search for burning arrow. So, so if you made the uh, ranger, you're gonna be starting with these abilities, and then you're gonna have like a uh, momentum support, which the scion can actually buy here. Yeah, here's momentum support. That gives you a uh, movement speed and attack speed. Oh, 15% movement speed. So that's a lot of movement speed. So if you look for extra movement speed, you might want to get this one. So, we'll, we'll take these out because we're, we're not using melee anymore. We upgraded to rage here. So to figure out a place to put these things. They put this uh, bow in our main ad. And then we could. We, we, we could even have these in like, the uh, armor or something. That would be split arrow. I guess we have like a uh, burning arrow. So it's usually like a uh, split arrow, prismatic burst. That works really good. Split, split arrow plus prismatic burst. But it's spectral. We, we don't really need these uh, melee abilities. Spectral throw, altered strike, pure support. Oh, we, we don't even have yeah. Uh, oh, we, we do have the two green legs, right? So go burning arrow, prismatic burst. And then we can make a uh, split arrow with a uh, pierce over here. So there we go. I, I guess that's it, right? We need a uh, blue. Well, it, it doesn't have to be. Uh, it doesn't have to be blue. Because the good thing about the sun is you can come here, and uh, what doesn't matter what color it is, you probably always find a support gem to use with it. So since you have a blue socket, we use prismatic burst that works good with it. And then split arrow with a uh, pierce support. That should be pretty good. They've got all of our gems here. And then we'll just uh, go here. So sh should we try to like uh, click these uh, base weapons? Because we know th th this goes here. And then eventually we just have all these uh, collected. And then we make a new versus of them later. Because we eventually are replacing uh, e every single one of these things. Every single one of these we don't really need them. I guess it's also why uh, these, these weapons have to figure out where, where to put these things. So what I'm going to do is pause the video and then figure out how we're going to organize everything. So we didn't, we didn't think about these uh, secondary weapons here, right? Because there's uh, main weapons and then there's like uh, secondary weapons. Yeah, then there's like the uh, two head weapons and everything. So this is be like a secondary, because eventually we, we might start by like a class or something. But I guess I guess these might be better boots. And then we have a ranger armor here. They put the uh, rares and everything. Should probably just ID them and put them here. We're, we're going to be selling them eventually. And then uh, maybe we get movement speed on the boots. Oh, we did get movement speed. So if we find the uh, magic boots, the uh, main thing you're searching for is like movement speed. So if we manage to uh, find movement speed, we actually found it. All right, perfect. And then we get a uh, better flask there. They throw this here. They get a magic ring. We might want to identify it, just because it's better than not having anything. Plus it, plus a whole bunch of extra damage. Then if we go to armor, we'll, we'll just put these here, then we'll just uh, kind of try to collect all the different base armor here. And then the different base uh, shields, this goes right here about. So I guess we can start at the bottom here. Yeah, everything should start at the bottom properly. So there we go. So we got our character set up. We pretty much know the skill gems we need to uh, buy and everything. Go through and get our cold resistance. And then we'll go right through the next quest here and then get up to, probably even get up to the prison, right? We'll, we'll just keep going, we'll get up to the prison and then we'll come back. And then we'll do the other side quest, then maybe we can even just start farming for some uh, armor bases here. So like I said, we're not going to be farming for like uh, three sock lake, they're like all different color combinations. The only thing we're going to be searching for is just uh, some armors, which is perfect defense, that's it. The sockets, they don't matter at all. So once we get the F4, we're, we're going to be reforging all the sockets anyway, so the original sockets, they're, they're going to be replaced with four sockets no matter what the sockets are. 
The only thing that's going to matter is the item level and the actual defense on the item. Alright, so we completed the next area up here. And then after completing the uh, next area, then we get some new skill gems. Which we'll be getting the decoy totem. So the decoy totem is actually really good. We don't need molten strike anymore. Then we get the dash ability. If you have a green socket here. Or if you have a blue socket, we get the uh, frost blink ability. Now, so we have uh, these set up here. We probably, probably just uh, throw this in here. So, so I guess we'll just uh, go through as we go through, probably throw these in here, then we'll go sort it uh, later. But we don't really uh, need too much stuff, except maybe for searching for like a gear upgrade. Then we we'll come down here and get the lightning resistance, and then we get our dash ability here. Then we get our decoy totem, so that's going to help make things a lot safer here. They still have our ray zombies and everything. And then, uh, we, we could probably actually lick uh, this uh, prismatic's burst to split arrow or something. And then get, uh, wait, uh, I guess it doesn't make much of a difference, right? I mean, like, uh, prismatic burst is basically with split arrow. But then I guess prismatic burst is amazing with a uh, burning arrow as well. Split arrow pierce support. I guess it goes through the enemies. As long as we keep getting more uh, damage here. So what we're going to do is go through somewhere's passage. Just to uh, continue our way. Work our way to the prison. If we're not going to worry about the uh, side quest. So after we get to the prison, we unlock some uh, new skill gems. So we cast our decoy totem and then they attack the decoy totem and then they don't attack you. And then eventually we'll be getting our like uh, shrapnel blister totem. So he said we're, we're just gonna go through. We're not gonna worry about doing the uh, side quest here. We're going to come back and do it. Cause it'll be a lot easier too after we get a uh, longbow and everything. So if you try to defeat this uh, these first area areas with just uh just a regular creep or something, it, it's gonna be so hard to defeat them. Let's go here, place the decoy totem. Just, just don't let those uh, water guys kill you. I, I, I think that's pretty much it. And if I had a uh, greaves, so if you like uh, th three different uh, licks, we, we just found it again. And that, that probably your most uh, powerful combination. Got, like uh, all three colors here. Well, I, I guess that we need a uh, green, green, red. We need it. We need a green, green, red if we do our uh, ice shop multiple uh, projectiles build with, with the uh, ice shop multiple projectiles totem. So just keep going to the oh, to find the bridge. Uh, maybe just pick up some like uh, rare items, maybe some like uh, three sock legs. Right, that looks like uh, it, it, interesting. Long way. Oh, here, here's the uh, boss over here. So I guess we just keep later decoy totem, and then when our decoy totem gets uh, low out, low health rate, right thick, then we just uh, attack. Looks like we should, should be able to take her out pretty easily. Oh, okay. And there we go, we got a uh, arrow quiver, which I think is the uh, next thing we're searching for. Then a chest piece, we're looking for a armor upgrade, because we need to get a whole bunch of armor up here. Oh, we can even equip it. So we eventually get these uh, sockets somewhere. We, we get rid of this here. So we'll probably do that. So we just put a split arrow with like a uh, bag first, maybe. And then I have to figure this out later. So we got to get some new sockets. But as soon as you get this uh, chest piece, if you, if you get equipped it, that's why I got the Scion, because cause I think you need like uh, 25 strength to be able to use it. And with that first uh, skill point, it, it actually gave us 25 strength, right? So this thing comes with handy, because it, it, it just helps you be able to equip this uh, chest place as soon as you get it. And the more damage reduction we get, the better. We're at like 62% damage reduction. And then if we get this, it's going to give us 24% increased evasion, plus armor, plus 10% uh, all resistance. Their damage reduction goes to 67%. We have 28% all rest. And then we just go over here, and then we just get the uh, movement speed. 
So he's got that figured out. We, we just have to figure out how to get a new gem for this when we go back to town. So we're probably, probably not going to go back to town until we get to the waypoint. But when we get back to town there, we, we could uh, maybe hook up a uh, prismatic burst with the other skill gem there. Or maybe elemental proliferation support or something. What, what's the bridge actually back there? Or, or is it actually this direction? I have nothing more to give. Yeah, it's in the other direction. Alright, so we'll, we'll come back once we get to the prison up there. We're, we're just gonna keep going until we get to the prison essentially. Alright, so we're pretty much up to the prison, so so it's not too difficult up to this point, but then uh, this guy, there's gonna be like all these ghosts and everything, you just put your decoy tight about a year, then try to shoot, and, and then just uh, hope that they don't kill you. So there's gonna be so many of these things, and then they're gonna kill your totem, and then you have to dash back. Uh, they just use your decoy totem, then if your decoy totem gets uh, destroyed here, maybe you try to work up a little bit. And there's gonna be more coming here probably. There's gonna be so so many of them. So it's like the uh, only difficult part I guess here, right? So all these guys that come jump at you. And then we have the boss to defeat here. So as long as we have like the uh, chest plate, enough uh, defense and everything, we should be all right. Then I think we picked up some new uh, gloves. We got like uh, elemental proliferation with like uh, prismatic burst, I think, to split arrow. Oh, they got a uh, strap leather here with like uh, three different legs if we need it. So the only thing we're picking up is just a, it, if we need like uh, sockets along the way, maybe. If we need different uh, specific uh, sockets along the way. But, but besides that, we're, we're eventually going to be selling most of this. I, I guess this uh, bow would be an upgrade, right? Because we were selling to use the uh, crude bow. If we could move these ships up here. They move this over here. And then just might switch to this uh, bow would be an upgrade, I guess. Here. And then if we wanted to get some more room, we would probably try to equip some weapons here. And then we don't have... Uh, oh, oh, we have two ray zombies. Okay, that's, uh, that's why that happened. So we made our way to the prison up here. Now we're gonna get some uh, new skill gems. Yeah, I guess I guess we'll just pick this thing up. I guess, I guess we'll just pick up some three socket leg. And then if we want to uh, craft with them later, eventually we, we'll, we'll, we'll pretty much come back and uh, get a better versions of them. But I don't, I don't think there's any re reason to yet or anything. We go through here, then take out these guys. Maybe a chainmail vest. Oh, okay. And then we're over to the prison. So as soon as we get here, we just get access to some new scale jabs. We also get access to a new weapon. It would be like the uh, longbow, if you can find it here or in the area before here. So what we're going to do is just go here, take the waypoint, go back home. They might, might just go through and try to uh, defeat Brutus, or you might go back to some uh, side quest back here. But if you go here, we haven't been uh, collecting too much. Yeah, the, uh, the the chest piece is going to be better than this thing, because I think you need the uh, armor to actually survive. If you don't have the armor. So if we're going to go through, because the uh, chest piece is going to be the best thing. And we uh, do need the blue sockets here. And then we got... Uh, pair of boots with all three colors here and then we got a pair of gloves with like a blue blue green and then if you find a piece of gear you just come here and then you should be able to uh pr purchase some uh, new skill terms here right so you found uh, a split arrow we found a bunch of blue sockets we, we can still use them because we just come here and purchase them but after you get to the prison you unlock these added damage support gems which you can use like uh, any socket color and then you get the Ballista Totem support here. And then we get the Ice Shot. So we, so we like do the uh, Ice Shot all, multiple arrows and everything. And then we get the multiple projectiles. And if you want, we, we uh, do get a reward here so you can probably claim one. So we're searching for uh, so like uh, added damage or something. Yeah, maybe, maybe we can actually put these here then. 
So it'd be like a uh, Burdigaro. Prismatic Burst. Then we get added fire damage. Then we can lick that with that. Then that make our burning arrow do really good. Then we got a uh, split arrow, prismatic burst, and then elemental proliferation. So I guess that'll work. We got our dash ability. So I guess this is going here, right? We got our dash. We got our decoy totem. And then we need to get a ballista. Oh, we oh we can actually set it up here, right? I guess we can set the ballista totem up here. Because all we need is just a uh, red and then a green. And then we can't use prismatic burst with this. Because prismatic burst doesn't actually work with like uh, minion skills. Yeah, I cannot support things other than you. So you come here, purchase a elemental proliferation support. Then we have Ice Shot Totems that can freeze enemies. Sound work pretty good. Yeah, then we can get our uh, Burning Arrow up here just with uh, Prismatic Burst again. Or we can even even get it with like uh, Elemental Proliferation support or something. So that's a good one. But I guess Prismatic Burst works really good. So we got our skill chip set up. We got everything here. We'll probably have to get room for like uh, Clarity and everything. Uh, besides that, we'll probably just uh, go go through the prisoner, or, or do we uh, go back? Go go back now and then uh, complete those uh, side quests to get, uh, get an extra skill point, get some better uh, gear from back there first. Now this will be a lot easier. So you go here, we get plus 102 evasion rating, which just by getting this uh, one skill here, we have like a 10% chance to dodge. That's it. Just this uh, help edge of these gloves. But if you get this with 100 evasion, I think it increases our evasion rating up to like 50%. Yes, yeah, so now we got a 50% chance to evade enemy attacks without really even having any evasion armor. Then we come here, then we get like a 10% movement speed. So we have that all figured out and everything. We have been collecting some uh, base armors, the uh, shields and everything. But we'll come back to these uh, later. So what we probably do is go back here and complete these side quests. So we go to the mud flats, complete this side quest here. This will give us some good loot. There's usually a lot of rare enemies, and you get a whole bunch of things in here. And then we go to Summer's Passage, complete this side quest to get a skill point here. So so we'll probably run through quick to just uh, show the ballista totem. Like it does, it doesn't have the uh, multiple shot or anything. Then we go to the mud flats. Then we go lay, lay down our uh, totem here. We got our dash ability. We got our ice shot totem. There's lay down these totems. We can have like three totems at once. It'll be a lot better once you get the uh, green, green, red. So we're all right, all right, I guess. Here's lay these, and then that, that's gonna make this a lot easier. So we found the uh, fire pool over here. If we come through here, just uh, complete uh, th this quest here, we'll be able to get a whole bunch of loot. I like to say with like, our ballista total that we got that we got from the the, the prison quest up there, it, it, it's gonna make things so easy. And, and if we happen to get a longbow, it made things even easier. But we didn't get that, so all we have to do is just go through here, just like uh, kill every enemy. I don't need to pick up this Splitter Tower Shield. We'll, we'll, we'll pick it up because we're trying to collect all the uh, base items at the moment. If, if we don't have this in here, like, uh, farm anything to collect a whole bunch of base items. Because we, we can always just come back and do it later. And we, and we, don't, we, need, we don't need to collect, like, uh, multiple copies of the same item or anything. Or, or anything unless it's actually, like, uh, max defense. You see here, place our totems here. And it should make these quests a lot easier. It just killed him. So maybe we'll just pick up this uh, magic item to go sell it or something. Yeah. Besides that, we pretty much just need like uh, three socket items. Or like th three socket items, preferably. Yeah. Yeah, 
if uh, the Greek Greek Greed Red Ray. So maybe maybe just pick up these blue items to sell, I guess. If you sell these, we get Orbit Transmutation to go buy some new skills if we need them. And we can use them to get Scroll of Identify to ID the uh, rares if we need. Oh, she's like, like the simple rope here. Blacksmith Waits, though, with three socks like the Nail Fist. Oh, we don't even have room for it. So it should just be this uh, la last uh, rare pack here, maybe. We'll just, we just leave that shield because it, it, it's just like three socks by itself. So these guys? Oh, then there's another enemy left. One monster left. Where is he? He's like over here or something? Oh, here he is. So you complete this quest? Th this quest doesn't really uh, give you that much. Like, uh, all, all it really gives you is just uh, two respect points, which I don't think you really need. Everybody says to skip this quest. Don't even bother doing it, but it does give you a uh, level up and it does give you some extra gear here if you need it. They, like, if you don't have these things, you probably find, find some extra gear there. And then once we uh, complete Act 1 here, we'll probably go through and see what uh, gear we have. So we'll go do the same thing, complete this quest, and then we'll be done it, and then we'll be up to the prison already. Alright, so we're just about to go do this side quest here. So all you have to do is defeat uh, this guy. Uh, it's gonna be a lot, a lot easier, a lot, a lot easier if you have your uh, blit blister ice totem set up. Uh, uh, and all your uh, extra uh, abilities here, you're added uh, support stabs, all your three socket link that ups. Maybe, maybe a log bow. We we did actually get one. If we go through here, we should be able to take him out pretty easily. It, it, it still does take a long time. So, so it'd be, it, it would be even harder, right? If you came here before. Because the Scion just doesn't really get that much uh, damage in our actual skill tree here. Looks like we did, we did get a whole bunch of new items here. And then the uh, main thing... I guess the main thing we get is this uh, essence. You always get this thing. And then if we go back to town... So just get an exit character selection. Let's come back here, and then we get a reward. And then we get another skill point. And then we get our movement speed here. So let's go through here. And we uh, clean this up a little bit. But essentially, we don't really, uh, need anything. The only thing we need is the uh, chest plate. The chest plate's like the most important thing, I think. Like the fish scout gauntlets and then the helmet and everything. I, I, I think we're just searching for like uh, linked sockets, like uh, blue green. And besides that, we're still searching for like a uh, green green red. Yeah, something like this, except that we could use it a bow. I wonder if we should, uh, oh no, because we, we need the uh, blue sockets. So now we have a uh, skill point here. We could come here and get uh, this one. This will give us like a 10% movement speed boost. So essentially, if you have a taken damage, we'll do 10% more movement speed. Which is pretty much like uh, mo most of the time, and it even works like uh, in town here. It even works in town. <laughs> in town. Why, why did that happen? Did we not get the 10% movement speed? Oh, maybe it was a negative 5% because of this thing. Okay. Yeah, because this thing is going to reduce your movement speed by 5%. So we're doing a negative 5% movement speed. So now we got plus 5% uh, plus movement speed. Yeah, we took the movement speed off of the uh, boots because we because we needed these uh, sockets here to use the totem. <laughs> but if we do this, now we can go through, complete the uh, prison. And it should be pretty easy. All we have to do is go do this uh, trial over here. Usually the trial is on uh, the right hand side. So we get, if you do the uh, right hand side, here we come do the trial over on this side, and then go do the left hand side. And then we're going to to the uh, pr to the uh, boss over here. 
So they're pretty good to be doing is like uh, searching for specific items like the light brigadine, the log bow. I think we get a new quiver here too. We complete uh, this. This thing shouldn't take too long to complete. We just go through here. Then we get our 10% movement speed. Then maybe go through here. Maybe, maybe even get here. Oh no, we couldn't make it. Yeah, we, we could definitely make that one. There are place our totems here. And then just like this as we go through the whole dungeon, just like uh, pl place your ice totems and they freeze everything. Then for this part, we'll, we'll just go here like we usually do. We just go here. Uh, then you just blink up here. And then play your totems. And then hope you don't get killed by all these guys. Alright. But take out these guys to no X they just keep resurrecting everybody all the time. The vet, if you do get a, a log bow, that, that's going to increase your damage considerably. E even if it's like a, a magic log bow. Because before we, we got that uh, magic log bow that was the right socket, so they, it was like the best thing. It was better than a any rares or anything. So with the skeleton, you're probably going to come down here now. Come down here, then we get more movement speed down here. And, so, and, and we actually get the uh, damage with the bow. So here's where we start getting the uh, damage pretty soon. And we'll just uh, go through the prison until we get up to the boss up here. Alright, so we're just about to defeat the first boss here. And I, I didn't actually think they were going to actually find a logbow. But we found this uh, logbow, just these uh, chests, these barrels here. Which is why we always tell you, just uh, break these chests and open these uh, barrels and everything. So they always, they, it, it seems like they have boosted loot in these uh, chests and barrels or something right before the boss. But essentially, your short bow, it just does like 6 to 17. It's pretty much like twice the damage as soon as you equip this thing. So we're DPS like 42. Now it's like 52. So it goes up a little bit. They place their decoy totem here that are a uh, dash ability. We, we need our dash ability. So I guess we, we, we did pick this up. This would be like the upgrade to this. Uh, although we uh, would... Would preferably want a light brigadine, but this is this is good enough. And it uh, does give us the green socket that we need here. Yeah, we can even put this uh, decoy down up here. And then the sockets on the boat doesn't matter. So, as long as we got enough like uh, damage reduction, I guess we just got like 46% damage reduction, that's it. So, what we're probably gonna do is try to kill him and then probably go through the next area. And then we'll be, oh, we found a three slot like the sharp over here. So we're gonna go through, try to uh, kill him without getting killed here. So I guess it's just that, like, uh, what, what, what ability where it like slaps the ground really far. Besides that. It's just staying out of range of those abilities. Yeah, that are totally to should be doing like uh, most of the damage. Yeah. Uh, but you defeated a hit already. I wonder why he's looking the other way. Oh, there's the late brigadier we're searching for, right? We're, we're searching for a late brigadier. And he dropped it. Like, uh, e even though this is just a, a magic item. It, it's going to be better than anything that we can actually get at the moment. So we're going to put this on, just because it's like a armor slash evasion. We got our dash ability, decoy totem. And then we need Ray Zombie somewhere, but we don't actually need Ray Zombie. So probably take this, probably take this uh, magic belt here. And then I guess if we don't, we don't need those sockets, we, we could upgrade to this uh, tricord or this uh, leather belt or something. But I guess we don't need all these things. Like this uh, track card, would it be worth picking up? I, I guess we get a uh, better track card later. So we'll do is just pick up uh, this. I think that'd be good for now. Actually, we don't need these other things in our inventory as well. So what we can do is exit the character selection, or we can just leave out the door and then go get the waypoint. 
but I'm pretty sure that they uh, give you the white point just, just for uh, completing that there. Alright, so we got our longbow. We got our like, brigadine. Yeah, we have like uh, green sockets with it, so we can even uh, put, put something in here. So it'd be like a uh, burning arrow. And then like a uh, momentum support or something. Yeah. Then we come here and purchase them. So we like a burning arrow. And then cold damage. Oh, we don't have the armor transmutation. We, we should. Yeah, like uh, what one, one right here. Hello. So we come here. Then, oh, we, oh, we also get the uh, new, new skill gems. That's right. So we need like a uh, armor transmutation at this point. So after the team, it gives you uh, new skill gems here. We, we never found any good, st good skill gems uh, to get out of the side Hello. here. But you do get the uh, vitality and the uh, clarity. So if you get the vitality, that would give you life regen. If you get the clarity, that would give you a mana regen. So, so we don't actually have. We don't have any uh, currency here. So what we have to do is sell some things. We can put the razor I'll be back up here. So all these... Uh, Magic items, right? Let's just put these here. Let's just put these here. It's just some, like three socks like that as I keep it. And we don't need to farm for them. We'll probably find them along the way. But these uh, magic guys we picked up, we probably sell like uh, almost every single one of them. I mean, if you're playing melee, you'd want uh, you want to ID that shield because it might be good for something. But besides that, we'll probably go through and sell these. Mm -hmm. We might might keep that uh, shield there. Might might keep the shield. This one, the plate kite shield. We get a orbit transmutation here. And with this orbit transmutation from sell the magic items, we get the clarity skill gem. Yeah, we have vitality right there. Okay. Then we go like that. Goodbye. And then we get the clarity and the vitality skill jab. So there we go. So we got all that sorted out. And then if we could figure this out, we got like a burning arrow. And then maybe we go with uh I guess we could just come here and just purchase them, right? Burning arrow, momentum support. That would work. They link like, it with something else here. Added cold damage. Oh, we, we, we don't have the uh, transmutation. I, I thought that we just picked one up. I guess that works. We, we don't need it like with like three things anyways. The Ash Clarity, Vitality, Decoy Totem, List of Totem, Ice Shot, Elemental Proliferation. Then we don't get the zombies, so I guess we don't need the zombies. We can play that. So what we're going to do now is just go through. We have our auras here. So if we uh, put these in our hotbar, we can hold the control button, and then we can go vitality, clarity, then we can activate those things. And then it's just going through the rest of Act 1 here, then just completed it. So you go here, activate our vitality, clarity. Then you get better regen and the life regen. And then go through, so the next part is going to be really quick and easy, right? There's going to be a lot of enemies and a lot of uh, loot and everything. So we'll probably come back after we've done something. So here's like a better logbook because it might have uh, better sockets because that's a green one. We're essentially we're searching for like a better uh, logbook at the moment. Bringing need maybe a helmet, maybe better boots, gloves. And then uh, we'll come back when we're just about that act one then. Because I think we get like a new scout point and everything. So we'll just keep going through. Until we get to Marvel's cavern, probably, and then, and then we'll come back. And then we'll probably be able to uh, look, look at all this uh, loot here and see what we get. And we probably don't need too much, right? Like I said, probably just need to collect like a uh, one base armor of each item, and then that should be good enough for now. Because all these things are going to be replacing them and then crafting a new ones, anyways. All right, we're back. So, so we're probably actually going to be ending the video too soon. So we're going to make like uh, the first video is just like the 
introduction and everything, and then completing Act 1, and then gearing your character, and then the skill tree, and which um, magic fire character we're using. So we managed to find a magic longbow with uh, three green sockets, and then we picked it up, and we identified it. So, so if we, you, usually if there's like a magic uh, bow, you pick it up and you ID it, it's usually amazing for some reason. It doesn't have the uh, fire damage that we had in the uh, last series, but it's still pretty good. <laughs> then we got a light brigadine, we managed to find a magic light brigadine with uh, three green sockets, so we ID this too. Looks like the, the only thing you really need at this point is just a longbow, a light brigadine. And the better versions of them you can get them the better they, they like uh, replace like uh, all these other armors all these other armors are pretty much unnecessary you just need this one and then we got a rare plated gauntlets which the plated gauntlets is, like the best uh, gloves at the moment but we did manage to get a rare version of it and then we did actually get, manage to get a movement speed on the boots so we got a, a rare ring of uh, boots. This will probably be the best boots at this moment. Like the uh, best, uh, highest tier, I think. M maybe the uh, duelist ones are a little bit higher. But I guess they're level uh, 18 to use it, isn't it? Or maybe, maybe, maybe it's level 13. But these ones are really good. Anything that has armor on it. But it does have the 10% increased movement speed is what we're looking for. And then we just have like a rare soldier helmet here. So I think this is also one of the really good ones that has armor on it, right? The number one thing you're searching for is just uh, armor, and then armor, and then armor, and then armor, and then nothing else seems to matter. Armor is like the number one thing to get. All the other armor is actually useless here. And we get the fire quiver. So you'd be getting a new quiver here too. And then the rigs, if you get a sapphire rig with a cold resistance, you can get any cold resistance to get this boss here. So we're like... Uh, 50% cold resistance, and then we uh, did, we did find this uh, magic rig, right? Yeah, I found this uh, magic sapphire rig. So what we're going to do is just identify this thing. So no matter what it is, even if it's a magic rig, it's going to be better than this uh, white white rig, <laughs> just because it gives something. So now we get uh, two life per enemy and with attacks. So sometimes it's worth IDing them. And then we uh, did upgrade our belt here. Because this uh, chain belt gives 20 to energy shield, but this can give up to 40 life. So essentially it's like uh, twice as good, just the uh, base stats by it. So upgrade to that, and then we'll go through, defeat the boss, go to Act 2, and then end the video pretty soon. And then, uh, and then it'll pretty much be in Act 2, then we'll just burn it through Act 2. We, we might even go through the uh, right, right hand side, because it, it is the easier one. Right, because you see, go the the left hand side. Edgar is gonna help us. And then we clear the entire place. What what if it's not even necessary, right? We we just uh, go through, clear the entire right side. Go through, clear the entire left side. And then complete act two. Okay, we're hitting all the dead ends. Oh no, we we can actually go up over here. Oh no, we can't. It is a dead end. We that, that's why the blink ability is so good. Because we just uh, dashed across here. So we'll come back and get to the boss, baby. Okay, so we're just about to go defeat the boss, but we did finally get another upgrade. Compared to the leather belt, if you find a heavy belt, that's going to be better, because it gives you like 25 strength. So it allows you to cut these uh, heavier armors that we're going to be using, because I think like, the uh, copper plate's going to be the best uh, chest piece if we can use that to equip it. Because there's like this uh, strap le leather, but don't even think about it for this uh, strap leather. The light brigadine's far superior to this thing. It, it, it's like not really that good because it doesn't have any armor on it, right? So what we're going to do is go through to feed the boss here. After we complete Act 1, and then we're, we're not going to go back and uh, farm anything. So there's no real reason to. It's like uh, all these items and everything. We, we can actually find them in the next axe, the later axe. And actually, anyways, we can always come back and get them. Why are we taking so much uh, damage here? Is there cold res? Is that low? Or is it because we didn't take the elf nodes? I guess we have to watch out, right? If our elf starts dropping or something. Yeah. Oh, we should, should be alright, probably. Yeah. Uh, 
I think you have to uh, try to take her out. So there we go. Oh, we even leveled that up. So I think as she teleports, she just like uh, calls a bunch of enemies. So all you have to do is just take out all these uh, uh, to respond, then that's just her by herself. So, I figured that out. She teleports, so we just take all these guys out, and then we go take her out. And then we completed the first act. There we go. Let's probably take these uh, rares. Looks like looks like we didn't really get anything usable because we're, we're pretty much using bows at the moment. So what we're gonna do is go through this next area here. Uh, there will be an act two. So let's go here to bank. We can go bank and everything. Is that just a magic longbow or is it a rare one? So we're gonna hide out with the bank, I guess. Yeah, it's got a magic bow. That's it. So, oh, we did talk about our skill tree, I think, because we did update our skill tree. It's like, uh, before you go find the boss here, right, we were working down in this direction. Then we said we are going here to get this uh, damage, and then this uh, movement speed, plus this evasion rating. So we go over here, like our evasion rating, we have a 50% chance to evade attacks with, with this uh, light brigadine. That's the only, the only evasion, right? The only evasion rating is just this uh, light brigadine and then this uh, 100 from up here. And if we go over here, we get another 200 evasion. Plus, we also get another 6% movement speed, plus 30% uh, damage with bows. So, good thing about the, the, uh, skills, the uh, skills out here, it's like uh, damage with bows, damage with bows, damage with bows, and it also gives evasion rating as well. So it's uh, offensive, defensive, also gives you movement speed down here, but our chance to evade 50%, and then with this uh, one ability, it jumps up to 69%, so we pretty much have a 70% chance to dodge attacks at the moment. And we also gain the 6% uh, movement speed, plus we gain a lot more damage with our bows. Uh, so our skill is so good to go down here, and that's just like after you beat Act uh, 1, right? Is that about time we get here level 16? Then the armor is there, car level 17. Yeah, by the time we get here, probably level 16, and then the armor is a car level 17. So you have to like, uh, at least get like uh, one, one level up before you can use the next tier armor. But if we uh, bring a character through, and then we collect some of them, their next character, they, they can use like the uh, level 17 armor is pretty much as soon as they get here. They just have to go like uh, complete the first quest, I think. Just go, go defeat that uh, bear of the dead. And then, and then with that, oh, this is a lot of damage. I guess we'll have to kill him, right? He, he's gonna take forever. We probably will kill him, though, because he might drop us some loot. Oh, he dropped us some boots. And a three socket leg sword. Yeah, the, uh, as we've seen, right? E even these uh, three socket leg magic items, if they're good bases, they can actually be good to identify. So we like uh, identify us, maybe. And if we have a level 12 character, we can bring them through. And then they can just use this uh, three sock, like the magic sword here. So since you go through here, I think it's just like the uh, one boss here. We're not going to deal with uh, the side quest, like a rare or anything. It's like uh, over in this area. We go through. Then hopefully eventually get like a green, green, red.
Then there we go. And we're at Act Two. So probably end the video. Yeah, it's like a one hour long here. That for equipment, we didn't really keep too much, right? We, here's our level one set. We don't really have too many things. We might get some more later. Here's level, uh, like the uh, armor, base armor set two. So we got most of them. We didn't get too many helmets and gloves and boots, which is expected. And then we're going to be getting these at act two here. And then we got the shields and then weapons. And then two add weapons and then bows. And then arrows, and then just uh, magic items, and then rare items, and then miscellaneous, and then some uh, extra things to sell later. And then we just have this to go through. Oh, oh it's just the uh, one, one bank tab. We've been uh, keep, keeping up to uh, tabs on this. So there we go. We don't need to have that much to sort out. So now we're in Act 2, though. All we have to do is just uh, burn through Act 2, get to Act 3, get to Act 4, and then we can start crafting for some items.